Hello peoples, today, last September 2020 class, we're going to review what we, have, uh, what we have been talking about this month, which are cores and numerals, colors and numbers, the singular and plural of nouns and adjectives, singular and plural, masculine and feminine, the gender of the, the nouns as well, of course, we're going to have some new information today as well. Like I have a curiosity here, this is the um, Brazilian rainbow. <laughs> it's the way we see the rainbow. Notice that we have seven colors in our rainbow. Uh, rainbow, ray, my sorry, rainbow. Not only six, and th these colors are vermelho, laranja, amarelo, verde, azul, anil ou índigo. Violeta. Violeta, pretty similar to English, violet uh, or lilac. For me, it's the same thing. I, I don't. I'm not sure if it, it's really the same thing, but for me, it's the same thing of lilac. And this one, just forget about that. Okay, let's consider light blue and dark blue. Let's do, do like this. And I wrote it here for you in Portuguese. Azul clara. The color, the uh, light blue color is azul clara in the feminine, okay? Azul escura, okay? Dark blue. And the masculine form of this word, you just replace it for a no, and you have claro or escuro, okay? This is the masculine. And all these uh, words here, they are on the feminine, okay? Vermelha. Vermelho, laranja, laranja, amarela, amarelo, verde, verde, azul clara, uh, azul escuro, azul claro, azul escura, azul escuro, violeta, violeta. And I didn't teach you the word uh, for black, so the feminine is preta, the masculine is preto. Okay. Preta or preto. And the plural, you remember, just put an S on these words. This is the only exception here. We have azuis claras, azuis escuras. Okay. Actually, these, when we have dark or, or light with a color, we have many kind of variations here. I can say, for example, azuis claro, azuis... Uh, claras, azuis escuro, like the, the color goes to the plural, but the, the word for claro and escuro doesn't change. Sometimes we have this, but this such accuracy is not necessary now because this is a class for beginners, okay? It's, and even Brazilian native speakers uh, get crazy about that. We also talked about uh, the subway in Rio de Janeiro and we learned some vocabulary regarding to subway like linha which means line, trem which is train and met metro which is metro or subway and and we saw here for example we have linha verde, linha laranja, linha amarela and today I want to teach you a new word, which is station, estação. The plural is estações, okay? Estação, singular, estações, plural. For example, here we have estação colégio, like uh, college station, school station. Central station, estação central. What else? The, the station for Copacabana here, Copacabana Beach, Praia de Copacabana, Estação Cardeal Arco Verde, okay? Uh, in which kind of situation you can use this vocabulary? Um, let's do very simple sentences, very simple sentences, okay, without any verb on this sentence. So let's suppose you want to go to... Praia de Ipanema. 
ok? Ipanema Beach, or you want to go to Cop Praia de Copacabana, Copacabana Beach. They are here, ok? So, these stations are good for them. So, to Ipanema Beach, uh, General Osório Station, ó, para Praia de Ipanema, Estação General Osório, it's here, General Osório. Para Praia de Copacabana, Estação Cardeal Arco Verde. Actually, Siqueira Campos is good, Cantagalo is good as well. Here, you can see a picture of me in Copacabana, in Praia de Copacabana. Let's see all the names of some um, Rio de Janeiro touristic points, but how we say them in Portuguese. Jardim Botânico, it means botanical garden. And um, the station is Botafogo. So, actually, after getting to Botafogo, you need to take a bus, okay? Uh, but Jardim Botânico is masculine. So... To Jardim Botânico, I'm gonna say pro Jardim Botânico. Instead of saying pra, like I said here, pra, pra Praia de Ipanema, Estação General Osório, as é, Jardim is a masculine word, I say pro Jardim Botânico, Estação Botafogo. The Christ the Redeemer is also masculine, ok? Cristo Redentor. Cristo Redentor. Uh, estação Largo do Machado. Where is Largo do Machado? Here. Actually, again, after getting there, you need to take a, an, a taxi or whatever. Ok? So, I say, pro Cristo Redentor, Estação uh, Largo do Machado. What else? Museu da República. Museu da República, it means Republic Museum. Museum is also a masculine word. So, pro Museu da República, Estação Catete. It's here. Catete. It's nice because before Brasília becomes the capital of Brazil, uh, Rio de Janeiro was the capital. So, there you can see the, the presidential palace. It is Museu da República, the Republic Museum. Actually, you can... Uh, walk around all this area. There are very nice spots to do there, like this one here where I am. It's a very nice place. This place here, it's the Pão de Açúcar. Pão de Açúcar, the sugar loaf. Pão is the word for bread. Açúcar is sugar. So the literal translation would be bread of sugar or sugar bread. But I know that the name in English is sugar loaf, right? So if you go to Marina da Glória, or para Marina da Glória, or pro Pão de Açúcar, Estação Glória, this one here, Estação Glória. And what else is nice to do? Teatro Municipal, Teatro Municipal, Munici Municipal Theater or City Theater, Estação Cinelândia here. Teatro Municipal, Estação Cinelândia. A very nice place to go to is Sambódromo, is where the carnival have the carnival parade every February, sometimes March. On February, the estação, the closest station is Praça 11. Estação Praça 11. Para o Sambódromo, Estação Praça 11. To Sambódromo, uh, Praça 11 Station. If you want to visit the zoo, zoológico, para o zoológico, Estação São Cristóvão. It's this one. And pro Maracanã, the soccer stadium, here, Estação Maracanã, of course, the same one. Let's remember the, the numbers now. And I can, we can use the numbers in a context like this, on this situation. You go to the subway, and you don't know the price of the ticket, you can ask the person, quanto custa o bilhete? Okay? 
or you can also say quanto custa o ticket o bilhete o ticket they are synonyms doesn't matter which question you do or you can just ask quanto custa and point and this sentence is gonna work everywhere the supermarket uh, and, and at the drugstore whatever you are quanto custa and it's very nice I tell you in uh, in the currency in Brazil is real, not real. Okay, you don't say real here. We say real, and the plural, plural reais. So, quanto custa? The person is gonna answer a name here for you, a, a number, and the word reais. And we also have cents, centavo in the plural or centavos in the sorry. Centavo in the singular, centavos in the plural. I tell you in advance that in Rio de Janeiro the subway is now in 2010 five reais. Cinco reais. It's the price in Rio de Janeiro. And in São Paulo, quatro reais, trinta centavos. So I want you to create some sentences as a homework now in the, um, the comments here. Create some sentences like this, like this one I created here. Um, the ticket is four reais and thirty cents. How can I say that in Portuguese? I can say that o bilhete uh, é quatro reais e trinta centavos. Trinta centavos. You're gonna write them these sentences in Portuguese. Um, or you can also tell me how much is the, the price of the ticket in your city. In case you live in New York or Madrid or Buenos Aires or Sydney, whatever, you can tell me here in the comments how much is the ticket in your city, in your country. Okay, this is the price in Sao Paulo. And this is the price in Rio de Janeiro. I can, you can say, there are other, other ways to tell that here. For example, in Sao Paulo, I can also say, o bilhete custa. Okay? The ticket costs four reais and thirty cents. O bilhete custa quatro reais and trinta centavos. I can also say, o bilhete custa quatro reais e trinta. It's possible as well. Or I can also say, o bilhete custa 4,30. Or just 4,30. This is the word for, for 30. I, 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 I forgot to tell you that before. And just for fun, if you want to see some pictures of other Brazilian cities, uh, you can follow me on Instagram. This is my address. In Instagram, Rodando Mundo, which means something like around the world. You can see many pictures of me in many Brazilian cities. So, muito obrigado e até a próxima aula. Thank you for watching and see you next class.